hope everyone out there is staying safe and keeping your distance from one another. This virus is really scary and it is really serious business and we have to take it seriously. So there's something that's been coming out and being reported about by several experts that I wanted to talk to you a little bit about so that we can get you informed and make sure that you stay vigilant. Uh, many coronavirus patients are actually presenting with something called anosmia. Essentially, anosmia is the lack of sense of smell. So how would you notice this? Essentially, your food doesn't taste right or you're not able to smell things that you used to be able to. And uh, this can be difficult to distinguish from a flu or a cold or even allergies, which are really starting to peek their head out at this point. Um, so swipe right and we can uh, tell you a little bit more about how to distinguish these things. One way to tell the difference is whether or not you have other symptoms, such as nasal congestion or thick, sticky, or foul-smelling or foul-tasting mucus, or itchy eyes, itchy nose, itchy throat, or if a patient comes in with facial pressure or pain, we know that these are very unlikely to be presenting symptoms of coronavirus. Um, but if you're noticing just a decreased sense of smell and or taste, by itself, in the absence of especially nasal congestion where you feel like your nose is plugged up, that's a warning sign. And it's reasonable at that point to call a healthcare provider, such as your primary care doctor or an ENT, to at least have a discussion with them over the phone or via virtual visit to discuss what sort of options there are. You don't wanna to go to the emergency department unless you're having other symptoms because that's really one of the worst places a healthy individual could be. So I hope this was helpful. Stay healthy, everyone, and take care of yourselves and each other.